Now, your news on the go. It's 754 and 43 degrees in Syracuse. Here are today's top stories and your news on the go. The Onondaga County recount has finished rescanning all of its early votes after a mix-up where 802 of those votes were not counted in the unofficial election night results. According to Democratic Elections Commissioner Dustin Zarney, the races most impacted include County Legislator District 10, where Mark Olson's lead has narrowed to 270 over Heather Waters, all of the Democratic Manliest Town board members and the Manliest Town Justice race flipped in favor of now Democrat David Rothschild. Today is one of the last chances to recycle electronics before the holiday seasons. Sun King is hosting a free electronics recycling collection at the fairgrounds today. However, there are limited drop off spots remaining. It starts at 9 a.m. and it goes through 12:30. Again, this will be Sun King's last free Central New York event of this year. Happening tomorrow, Honor Flight Syracuse is paying tribute to those who gave the ultimate sacrifice. Following the success of Mission 15, the organization will pay tribute to those veterans who passed away before they had a chance to go on an Honor Flight trip. The group took ceremonial flags and a picture of each veteran to Washington, D.C., bringing back a photo for each of their families to hold on to. This weekend ceremony is set for 1 p.m. tomorrow at the Onondaga County War Memorial. 7.55, Lindsay's back for a final check of Central New York's most accurate forecast. Lindsay? Well, we're starting off the weekend with some clouds and a few showers. Our temperature is 43 degrees at the Syracuse Airport. We don't have too much of a breeze now. That'll change for this afternoon. Take a look at the satellite and radar. Some light showers over near Arcadia down to Seneca and approaching uh, Cayuga County. But we do have some more rain ahead of headed our way for this afternoon right around lunchtime beyond lunchtime into about one two o'clock then we'll see some change over to some wet snow showers but only in the higher elevations temperatures are staying in the 40s throughout today we're pretty quiet close to sunset beyond sunset we change over to some lake effect rain and snow showers the snow showers are going to be further inland in the higher elevations if you're closer to the lake it stays as rain temperatures are falling into the 30s tonight tomorrow we do have have some lake effect which moves to the north during the morning but then some widespread rain and snow showers during the afternoon and that carries into the start of next week it's unsettled it's like november temperatures are staying in the 40s week thanks for joining us this morning for news and weather anytime just download the news channel 9 app